Hey y'all, today I'm gonna share with you one of my absolute favorite juices. This juice is organic, it's fresh, it's natural, and I feel like it's a great option for people that want to control blood sugar spikes or they want to just reset their body, cleanse, get rid of some fat. Y'all, this is a powerful juice, okay? So I feel like some of the best juices start with natural um, ingredients. So I'm gonna take you guys to my garden and show you this parsley. It's a little bit on the old side. Plutz is starting to crowd out this other herb I have. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get a big bunch of this natural parsley. It's grown totally organic and I'm gonna add that to my juice. I am also going to be using um, some kale. However, I do have some kale growing in my garden, but this kale is kind of young, so I'm gonna just buy some organic kale from the store. However, I will be using this mint. Mint has a naturally sweet flavor, so since I'm not really adding a ton of fruit to this, it's really gonna perk up the flavor and make it very refreshing. Let me know in the comments if you are a gardener and if you are, do you ever make juices with the things that you grow in your garden? I feel like just using these organic fruits and vegetables is just the best way to go. Now, of course, I don't spray my vegetables, but they do get dust on them. And I just like to go in with a little veggie spray to remove any dust that might be present. Then I am going to go ahead and wash the rest of the veggies that I'll be using for this juice. Here I have some Dr. Bronner salsas. I'm literally gonna put in like three drops. This is the best vegetable cleaner. Y'all, I absolutely love it because it just gets off so much dirt and pesticides and everything that's gonna be on your juice. So I have like five cucumbers here and I also have a big fat piece of ginger and some organic kale that I was able to get on sale at Whole Foods. I'm gonna clean all of this really well. A very common misconception when buying organic from the store is that it does not have any pesticides. That's really not true. Actually, they do spray with pesticides. They just use different types of pesticides so you definitely want to wash anything that you didn't grow especially from your own garden really well I even like to go in with a brush for the base of this recipe I am going to use spearmint tea because I want this to be caffeine free however you can also use green tea either one of these is great but I find the spearmint tea is super refreshing Spearmint tea is also wonderful for women who've been diagnosed with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome because it really helps control the production of androgens. So it's really great for hormone balance. I'm also using the tea to thin out the juice to reduce the carbs and the sugar load. In total, I'm gonna brew about three cups of tea and then I'm gonna place it at the side and allow it to cool off. Now, I know some of you are wondering if someone's trying to monitor their blood sugar levels or trying to reset, why would you even have a juice? Well, one of the reasons is that honestly, a lot of people like juice. I mean, sometimes you get tired of water and you want something a little bit different, but you definitely don't want to grab a soda or something like that. Well, a juice is a really nice way to just change it up. Also, you get tons of vitamins and nutrients in there at one time. The main source of sugar is going to be from these five green apples. And even then, it's still pretty low in sugar because this juice makes way more than five servings. I'm gonna peel off the skin on the cucumber because it's really thick and I find it to be a little bit better. Once I do that, I'm gonna just chop this into large pieces. Ginger can be really spicy to some people, but it is also super cleansing. So I always add at least two to three inches of ginger into my juices. And if you can really take it hot, you can add about five inches of ginger and that is going to just be a super antioxidant boost for your body. I'm gonna roughly chop up the parsley and the mint, and then I'm gonna add that to the bowl with the rest of my fruits and veggies. I'm also gonna give my kale a rough chop and y'all better definitely hold on to those stems, baby, because those stems have all the vitamins in there too. And when you're juicing, you certainly do not want to throw them away. Now, I still have not gotten a juicer. You guys have recommended some, but I just cannot bite the $500 you know, bullet and get one. And so I'm still going to be using my blender for today. 
but of course you could run this through a juicer if you decide to use a juicer personally i still recommend adding in the tea maybe at least two cups of it just to thin out the juice a bit but that's going to be totally optional to strain my juice i'm going to use a just like a kitchen towel that I got from Walmart these are really inexpensive I know everyone does not have a nut milk bag but these are only like a buck or so and they come in a bundle of five of course I've washed this ahead of time and I'm going to just pour my juice into this and just squeeze it all out baby okay you're gonna let all that juice start running okay then I'm going to just put everything back into my juicer and blend up the rest if you would like to save the pulp, what you can do is dehydrate it or you can freeze it in like little cubes and you can take it with some water as a fiber supplement. I am also going to add the juice of three lemons just to up the cleansing power and it's also going to make it taste super tasty. Now I know some of y'all going to get mad, okay, but if you just have to have a sweeter juice, what I recommend is putting in a tablespoon of Truvia because it is gonna be better for you than say adding a lot more pineapple juice or a ton more apples because it's way less sugar because part of it is the stevia. I always have my juices with a protein and veggie rich meal to increase the vitamin absorption and I just feel like it's well tolerated in my body that way. Let me know if you try this. I'll see you next time in Kamira's Kitchen. Goodbye and God bless.